Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. As you see from the title and the thumbnail, we managed to finish in plaids this week. And I wanted to show you, like just replay the recording of my plaid push, what happened there. And while doing this, we'll talk strategies and how to plan your plaid push. So first thing is, as you see from, the, from uh, um, other content creators videos, Pushing plat now is much easier than it used to be. Because of the new uh, change Plarium did in the algorithm that you cannot lose more than five, five times or basically you won't lose points, everybody's setting their gold five defense to uh, one man teams. And then we all can farm um, gold five and basically just progress to plat. But that's not all of it. So there are some plannings and some things um, to do and to know how to do there. So I want to point out a couple of things there and I'll let you know what I've done before we play the videos. I'll talk general strategy in this video while replaying uh, my push and then we'll have dedicated videos talking about um, team strategies, offense, defense, because we'll talk about it as part of uh, Ramanto missions because you need to reach uh, gold one in 3v3 and but you also need to max and this is one of the uh, uh, last miss missions you need to max reach level 10 in 10 great hole uh, uh, areas so you will need to be in gold one at least but gold one will make it too slow for you and farming gold medals for quite a while to get Ramanto missions done so first things i'll play a couple of things there just to explain uh, how arena changed how that plat push is now possible for everyone so what you see here i've just recorded the how high the points get as time gets closer to uh, uh the, the, the reset the arena reset so you see here this is almost seven hours and Plat is at almost 6,700 points. We go to six hours, so that's like one hour later. It increased by 300, is that 700? So it increased by just a little bit. And then you'll see it kept increasing. So that's an hour and a half. That might be, is this the last one? No. So you also have, so this one is the hour mark. And you see here it moved to, 600 850 from 6 700 or less so 150 points that's quite an increment there and then yeah i'll, I'll just dive into the video to show you uh, 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 what's happening there so first things that you'll need to invest in if you want to push plat is uh, is for you to stay at the edge of platinum don't jump into plat, you'll get hammered down back into gold 5 because that 5 losses per day max uh, only applies in gold. So, and that's basically how a lot of people uh, are pushing plat this week spe specifically or were pushing plat. And that's why the points got that crazy high. So, stay in gold 5, close to plat. What this will cost you, it will cost you gems for arena tokens refreshes because You'll finish the daily 20 tokens plus whatever the build over time, and then you'll need at least one or two per day. My estimation is that if your account is strong enough, if you have the champs and if you have the gear, then you'll need around 1000 gems, half of them 500 through the week, doing refreshes to stay close to plat. And then during the actual reset time, you'll need another around 500 between uh, tokens refresh unless you, you bought a pack of those or whatever for four, 40 each and those five gems to refresh the pages till you find the teams that you can hit and i'll talk to you about the specific strategy while replaying uh, my uh, push re recordings there so that's the first things to do uh, another two screenshots that i want to talk to you about uh, first of all, which is one of like the big, big parts of the strategy, if you want to learn how to push for platinum or you want to land there once for the avatar, I didn't get mine this time, but we'll talk about it when we get to uh, where I placed there. So this is Boomer. 
If you don't know Boomer, I'll link this specific video that I took the screenshot from uh, and his channel in the description below. He's one of the top tier platinum players. So there are a few of these. If you look them up on YouTube, you'll find them. My two favorites are Boomer and McChain, but there are others. Uh, it depends on everybody's taste, but I like those guys' style and Boomer especially is quite a strategist there. So what he's showing here, uh, and that's for you because what he talks about in this video is that the meta is changing and I believe this. So anyone can push plat now, assuming he got the right champs and level of gear. Uh, so he's showing that the difference between, was there another one? Yeah, so this one first. He's showing that the difference between number one in plat arena and 499 is just 100 points. So that means that there is tiny variation between each position and the one next to it. And then he's showing here that it's only 40 points from the 19th and the 499. And what he shows at the end of this video that the guy who, who ended 6th, 6th six or 7th this week, uh, which is higher than where he ended, just waited in gold, just waited till the last 3 minutes, kept refreshing and made sure that he got like a full page of weak teams, those single defenses or weak defenses that he can hit in gold 5. And then 3 minutes prior to reset, uh, he set a good defense and just hit the whole page, getting 90 points and boosting himself massively into plat. So that can be a strategy you want to follow, but then this strategy might uh, 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 grant you a high ranking there, but it's very risky because if you couldn't do this in the last three minutes, if you are in the US like, uh, like me, you just waited till 3 a.m. in the morning to play that risk. You can play it safer and that's how I did it. And that's what I'll show you in the recordings. So I was recording this on my phone because it was 3 a.m. my time, like I said. Uh, so let's jump in. I'll show you the recordings. And while showing the recordings, we'll talk about what strategy I followed there. This is the first of two recordings uh, I've done on my phone for the reset. And just a warning at this point, we still have a bit of time because I want to walk you through everything I've done. So this video is going to be a bit long. In, the, in this first video, let me just start playing it, and I'll, start, I'll, I'll speed it up where it doesn't matter there. If you see, I'm checking my defense. So 30 minutes left, that's when I started adjusting my defense and pushing because I had that weak defense in place. And if you notice here, so my loss, like the, the loss before this was seven hours ago, and I had one loss at 30 minutes. That was before I set my proper defense there. So what I've done here is that I went to the page, I'm still in gold five, I'm weak teams, I'll start hitting. One of the mistakes, because I'm thinking what I can do better if I try this again in a few weeks time, assuming they won't change anything, is that I've should have, I should have set my proper defense at this point. You should have two defenses. One of them is the weaker but still strong one to deter people from attacking you. You set it at roughly 30, 30 to 20 minutes before reset. And then the real grind comes in the last three minutes. That's when you want to set your ultimate defense there to hold your place and to prevent others from pushing you down. So here um, I started pushing without changing the defense. Like I said, that might have been a mistake or not. I'm still new to this. And I'm just refreshing and trying to pick teams I think that I can quickly uh, uh, farm. The other thing that you see all the top players doing, I tried to do it, but I overdid it. I'll, I'll show you why in a bit, is that have a main farm team and then just keep refreshing and target the teams that are weak against that comp. Like here, I have Hiji, so I can target speed comps that are squishy, like this one. Uh, not specifically squishy, but anyhow. Uh, and, and uh, then I have Tormen in case they boost and any three to block revive when, when uh, I hit them there. So that seeker got a lot of counter attacks and he stalled me a little bit. Like this fight, you see, right now it's uh, 40 seconds already and I'm still going in there. You want your... Uh, uh, so 
previously, if you see uh, um, the videos for the top guys, they say that anything less than a minute is acceptable in arena, but that's in the old meta. In the new meta, where everybody's pushing fast from gold five, you want these fights to be less than 30 seconds. Oh, that's my prediction for the time to come. So here, because of Vogworth, Neary, and Seeker having so many counter attacks and taking down uh, my Neath we like twice, uh, this fight was a minute and more than a minute and 20 seconds there, which is too long for a fight at a reset time. So choose your fights, fights carefully because once you are into the fight, you can't walk out. That will cost you greatly. So you get into the fights, you can win, hit it, win, and leave, and that's it. It's actually pushing plat is divided between choosing the right fights, refreshing choosing the fight, right fights, so you gain as many points as possible. Look here at that page, that's a beautiful page. Uh, and that's of course all single man defenses. I'll speed through this if I finish my point here. So choose the fights you can win fast, like this is a one second, uh, um, Farm, it's perfect, and set a defense so that you won't get attacked too many times. You will get attacked, you will be beaten, but so that you won't get attacked too many times, you want a tall, scary defense so that if someone attacks you, even if they can beat you, it will take them a minute or more so they won't hit you again. Because the worst thing you, you want, so let me back, back up here a bit because so that might be a uh, um, a trap team and my knee three is not uh, um, is not speed tuned into my arbiter properly so what happened here is that you see my heji couldn't kill that uh, tranda which was a, a bit of bad luck and then arbiter their arbiter boosted her and she nuked my team so that was an easy uh, uh, loss that i could have won a uh, couple of points lost, said this 26 minutes, so it wasn't that important. Here I got paranoid, so I took it uh, I took it off 0-2 because uh, <laughs> being beaten by this two-man team uh, really shook me there, but I didn't face any issues with this team. Let me speed things up a bit. So, uh, yeah, so that was 37 seconds, not too bad. We are at the edge of plat and 25 minutes left, and I've got a few easy teams to farm there no issues at all with this one so this was a four second farm perfect to get into plat that's what you want and then here i'm looking for other teams oh i hit this one yeah this one was quite weird because i was looking for uh, teams down the list to hit and this team is strange like this team that i've hit right now this is not a proper arena team at all. I'm not sure if it's if it's meant to be stall team or what, but it's not tanky. It's not arena champs. Uh, but maybe the guy didn't care about plat. He was just setting his defense and that's it. So again, 13 seconds farm, quite good. I'm almost at the edge of plat. Here, I'm going just to check my defense again. Nobody hit me other than this guy. That hit me at the 30 minutes mark and then so how much time 24 minutes i'm setting my defense here that was a random defense and it's not perfect so what i set my first defense to necrit for uh, uh, protection my necrit is in six pieces of stone skin heji protected by necrit with here or weather is really annoying because of how if she's fast and tanky and if you can give her a bit of resistance, uh, she can really cause trouble for the other team. And for the fourth champ, you'll see here that I haven't thought this properly. I should have done so before I went to re into reset. And I just put Raglin there. My Raglin is fast and tanky in Guardian set and with a bit of resistance on her. So that's, that's a very annoying defense. So I've set it to that. I've set, basically, everything is on auto. The only thing that I've set, I've set uh, uh, Necrit to use his ally attack before his protection because his AI is set up the other way around and I want him to ally attack with Hiji and maybe take someone down there's an easy team properly that I missed there 
doesn't matter I might do a refresh here yep so I've done a refresh I picked up another one man defense hit it one second and we are almost into plat no other teams to hit here you see teams are start uh, people started to get their proper defenses and then I refresh again I get the CF and the other easy teams on that page so oh no no wait wait that's the end of the first video I'll tell you what I've done there so you see when I refreshed I couldn't find any easy teams here and then I didn't hit that CV I went back out because I thought 23 minutes out and I have a good page of uh, weak teams which is the strategy I was telling you about you can just boost yourself into plat but I didn't want to do it too early so that's 23 minutes in but I think I waited for three minutes more or less before starting that push I restarted the game because also if you've noticed there is some glitches so the loading of, of each arena battle sometimes just hangs and if you restart the game it's considered a loss so I've restarted the game at this point to refresh the agent the client on my side and make sure that those glitches won't happen so that's the end of the first video let's go into the second and longer one this is the second recording and the longer one i'll try to speed the parts that are not interesting there so as i was saying in the previous part at 23 minutes i stopped at that page checked that nobody hit me other than this guy and then i started hitting this page i thought that 20 minutes let's go all in and i have a good page to boost me into plat so i hit that uh, solo Sifi think she wasn't swift parry and yeah took a bit of time 30 30 seconds for uh, our man defense is not what you're hoping for then I hit that next easy team I'm at the edge of plat this one might got me into plat did it again less than 30 seconds which is okay there start using the gyms that's the gym cost I was telling you about Now I'm into plat at 6,900 points and 17 minutes left. And I still have one one man defense there. I think that was the last easy uh, uh, battle on that page. Defense, I'm good. Nobody's hitting me. I refresh, get some easy teams again. another easy team that's what I was refreshing for and that's what I was telling you figure out the team I'm refreshing for the teams that are weak against me and I just hit them fast and get it done with another team here so you see that should be 20 less than 30 minute farm Okay, another 11 second farm good enough till now I'm doing very good so I'm climbing plat I'm not getting hit the last I checked 14 minutes left and I'm choosing the teams that fit into my style of attack you see here at 145 in plat 14 minutes left but just remember the real grind is in the last three to five minutes so by reaching higher than this at this point I'm exposing myself to stronger players that can hit me. If I appear in too many, too many pages, I'm going to just get uh, uh, to lose a lot of points uh, fast. So here you see, I'm just waiting there. I thought I'm at 145. That's exactly what I was telling you. I'm just holding my place and checking my defense. I got to 120 just by people hitting each other. And then I refresh and I hit this team. So I take down uh, uh, Tranda and then Raman too. I don't want him to block the passives there. Another 46 seconds is, it should have been faster for, for a speed team. Refreshing, refreshing. 120. So you see here, 120 and 11 minutes left. 
which is great, which is awesome for my first try. My defense is great. I haven't been hit a single time till now, which is really good. Now I feel that I'm refreshing. I cannot find easy teams. So maybe um, I got greedy uh, and I thought maybe I could hit some of the harder teams and climb even higher. So you see, I picked this team. This team is not perfect for me. I cannot guarantee that I can farm this team fast. And now, so I've done like two mistakes at the same time. First mistake is that I switched my attack and I chose the, the wrong team to attack. I, I want it to be like the uh, uh, big boys and have multiple attacks. All of these I haven't even tested before reset. I should have stuck with my main attack team and did more refreshes and didn't risk this. And I'll show you what happened here. So. Basically, the Duchess was strong. She revived them. One minute into the fight, I thought I'm, I'm losing, so I just... And remember that I was... I lost just nine points here, and I was 120, and somehow that threw me out of plat. At this time, I was very disappointed and, and stressed because I thought that I just lost it uh, with eight minutes left. But of course, I'm back to gold five to the easy teams to farm there. So a couple of easy fights and more gym refreshes, more easy teams. And I'm back into plat, I guess, with this one. Yes. So I'm back into plat and, and then I could still find some of the edge of gold five easy teams, which is good for me. I need all points to climb back. The points I've lost, six minutes left there. I'm picking an easy team. The only thing I'm doing there is that I'm not using Arbiter's boost, not to trigger. Uh, uh. So let me show you this because some people are tricky. That was a plus one fully that hit like a noodle. It didn't do any damage to me. And then they are frozen. I got it done, 40 seconds, not, ba not bad. I'm just trying to climb back and pick up easy teams. Here, I tried not to use Arb Arbiter uh, 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 turn meter boost because of Torment, I don't want to get frozen. So I got rid of Torment, 15 seconds, not bad. I'm climbing back into plat and I'm doing good there. See here, I'm 474. When I checked this with five minutes left, I started to get worried because I'm very close to the bottom uh, edge of plat and I can easily be thrown out and you see here I'm beating I'm being hit twice in two minutes so I thought that my defense is starting to get hit I do one more easy attack and you see here I changed the defense I think I've put torment instead of raglan there thinking that and that's also a strategy other than putting your ultimate defense three to four minutes before reset as i've done here what you also want to do is to change the defense because if people find you and can farm you fast you don't want them refreshing and finding you again as you see on those top players videos they will keep refreshing to find the same easy targets to hit again and again but now by changing this they won't find the same defense and they will just skip you there and then yeah i find another easy as you, uh, there is no like super strategy here. I'm hitting teams that are weak against mine. Another speed team, I'm hitting there. Three minutes left. I'm picking on also in speed teams. See, same, same type of teams that I'm hitting. And that's the strategy for you. Figure out a team weak against your attack and just keep refreshing till you get more and more of them. Pages of strong teams now that I'm into plat with two minutes left for the reset. And I'm 114 with two minutes in and I do a refresh. I think that this one was really bad because Lydia kept proccing the A1 fears and those A1 fears kept making me lose turns. So 
out of two minutes, I lose a minute on this fight. And by the time I got out of it, it's only 40 seconds left. And I'm looking for a team to hit. You see, I'm refreshing, refreshing, trying to get one more in because one more can mean like several positions within plat or even not being thrown out. So I choose that team. If you see here, 20, I think I, I hit it with less than 30 seconds. I'm not even sure this one got in or not. So I've hit the team. I did it at 21. I'm, I'm not even sure what happened there. So that's reset. I'm not sure if this one counted or not. And then I'm just like paused for a second there. So this is an actual pause. The video is playing because I wasn't sure. Did I do it? Didn't I do it? What did I do there? And now the big reveal. So first, first things first. You see, I've been hit two times in the last minute, which made me lose. When, when you saw me, I, I was at like 110 or something, 114 position. But then I've got hit twice within the same minute. So if I if I wasn't trying, one of them is Rats, one of the top top players from Eternal uh, Titans. Uh, he was actually advising Hill Hades on his team strategy. So, <laughs> okay, I've got beaten there. Um, getting attacked only four times during the last 30 minutes of reset is great. But then again, you should keep refreshing and fighting and winning against weaker teams because if you got hit while you're not attacking, you should win more than you lose, basically. Simple rule there. Only four, four times I got hit, that's really good. I'll take that for my first plat push and I might enhance my defense later on. I finished in plat, the big reveal. Where did I land there? 270. I'll take that, I'll take that. Halfway into plat for my first try is not bad at all. I think it's getting harder. If they don't change how um, the arena meta is, Things will keep getting harder because more players will push. But you need to have the level of gear needed. You need to have the strategies for defense and offense. And we'll talk about these in specific videos. For now, finished in plat, 270. You can do it too. It will cost you gearing the proper teams, being awake uh, in the early morning if you are in the US like me, or normal morning time if you are uh, in Europe. Um, and just spending a thousand gems and such during the week. We'll talk more about Arena in the previous videos, but I want to go back to talk about uh, Tomb Tower, Heart, Secret Rooms before this rotation ends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye.